trigger for you, like in your, in your, in your, in your personal decision to choose medicine? Yeah. Look, I think the main thing for me was my mother was an Aboriginal health worker. So I'm one of the first trained Aboriginal health workers in Queensland and um, she kind of helped me to think about health. Um, surprisingly, there, there, wasn't, there was no doctors or anything like that that kind of, I thought, wow, I want to be like that because where I was brought up, that was, medicine was out of the question. Like, yeah. It wasn't a thought. Um, it wasn't until after I'd done a, a science course and worked in laboratories for 10 years that I kind of thought, oh, maybe I should get into medicine where I can actually make more of a difference and actually have a say in policy and everything else that I need to have a say in around Aboriginal affairs. And you talked about 200 medical students, mm. uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander backgrounds. Um, is that a success? Is that number a bit significant number? Um, look, I think, you know, having, having 200 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander medical students across Australia at the moment is the start of something really big and something really useful. In the past, you know, when, when I studied medicine, there were probably 10 of us at med school, and um, I was probably about the sixth doctor to graduate. And, um, and when you're doing it that way, you're kind of doing it a bit hard. Um, when you kind of reach that critical mass, it becomes a bit easier and it builds on itself. So I think having that many in at the moment and then being able to um, support each other and benefit from each other's experience and us, the Indigenous Doctors Association, bringing them together um, really helps. Now, we've looked at, you know, overseas, so... Um, the American Indians will graduate that many every year um, through really targeted programs. The Maori doctors, when we work with them, they've been graduating doctors for 100, over 100 years. And um, out of all the graduates in Australia, we all, you know, in the history of Australia, we all know each other. Um, and as far as I know, only one of us has died and, um, in that time. So it's, it's very contemporary, this thing. And, and the 200, you know, is a good number and it, it's something we can build on. Now.